Oh, and we're back to do more Let's Plays, and this one is heavily requested, is the Cole de Sac Smash for Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie. And look, I'm gonna actually gonna read the instructions today. Win, win each derby to advance to the next location. Eat, earn cash by competing in derbies, then make repairs. Yeah, so you just gotta crack. Oh, oh, you got a lot of characters. Oh my god, it's like Sonic Adventures. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the best character, yes. Blue haired alternative girls are the. Oh my god, this thing has custom. I didn't know this. I, I, I haven't. I don't think I played this game, or maybe I did, but just once. 10,000 years ago. I remember, but well, this is, yes, I mean, it has customization. There's only three options, I believe, just for now, but that's, it's something. Like, imagine being fucking rammed, <laughs> being 10 years old on a golf cart, and someone just rams you with a fucking golf cart made from a refrigerator. Uh oh, let's do this. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like Twisted Metal, only not good. Uh, I think I remember this. Yeah, I just skid around. <laughs> I just did donuts like this, and this was my strategy. Like they'll never, they'll never defeat me like this. Oh uh, yeah, they couldn't. There's no voices, but there are word balloons, and sadly, my character's not saying anything. Oh uh, yeah, blue-haired girls with uh, one eye covered. I mean, that applies to like. 50 characters, like, uh, okay, I have this character called Wavebird who has blue hair and, uh, one eye covered, and every so often I would see some art somewhere, and I think, oh, did someone draw fan art of my Wavebird character? And it's like, no, it's Marie Kanker, or no, it's, uh, this thing called Scarpy from some pornographic webcomics, like, damn, it wasn't Wavebird, it was some other person's blue haired, one eye exposed character, and it's not mine. Ugh, fuck. Am I, <laughs> am I winning? <laughs> I have no idea. It's like, the Sim it reminds me of the Simpsons Hit and Run where the more damage you take, the more your, your card starts to smoke. Oh no. But yeah, it's like, oh, nobody drew fan art of Wavebird. It also reminds me, like, my, me, I mean, you know how I look. I, I have that uh, stupid hat with the, that's black but with yellow rings. Like, sometimes I see humanized Umbrarion art, like that Pokemon Umbrarion, and I think, oh, is that a fan art of me? And it's not. It's not. It's fucking Umbrarion. Fuck. Like, that's the problem when you have a character and you, when you design a character and it's like, oh, this character's awesome. But then eventually you realize, wait a minute. There's a bunch of other characters that look just like this and you just feel so discouraged. Oh. But you know what? Like, Samurai Jack looked almost exactly like uh, Professor Utonium. And th that didn't stop that show from becoming a classic. So, you know, there's hope in the world if you're a character designer. Fuck, what am I even doing? If you're a character designer and you happen to create something that looks some like something else, you know? People will appreciate it as its own thing. Hopefully. I mean, if it's good. I mean, if it sucks, then... I mean, it's one of those uh, double standard criticisms, you know? Like... I mean, if the if the thing you make sucks, people will just hold it against you. But if the thing's amazing, people will be like, eh, whatever. Oh, yeah, fuck you, uh, other canker. I don't know what her name was, but I fucking blew her ass up. If you notice, like, you don't see anyone, uh... Oh, did Rolf fly out of that thing? <laughs> okay, I guess they do survive. Like, I assume they'd be vaporized upon impact. First cash prize, one dollar? <laughs> one fucking dollar? That's all I get? Fuck. Well, let's go to the garage. The monster garage. Oh yeah, let's uh, blow my money on uh, car upgrades. So, remember the TV show Pimp My... R oh, I only got two bucks? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this economy is fucked. Oh, give me the fridge. Four bucks, no, I don't have, I don't have that kind of money. All right, start the derby. Let's do this again. Just, just remember, remember the technique. Circle, just circle donuts, donuts all the time. It's your only strategy. I remember uh, Neopets had a game, like a, I think a bumper car video game, on their website, and this was my exact strategy. It was like the, pretty much exactly like this, although this looks a lot more polished. Oh man. Yeah. So this is the game. All you gotta do is circle around. Like there's no. Fucking napalm launchers, uh, bio nuclear weapons attached to the vehicle. You can't like fucking nuke these kids from outer orbit, like just like they did in the show. If you remember that episode where um 
Eddie dropped a napalm on uh, Sarah and she's burning alive and they photograph her and the photographer gets in trouble like, hey, man, you can't do that. But then there's this whole ethical thing where where uh, the guy, who, the person who photographed it, which was Double D, is like, hey, someone needs to document these things. I mean, like, you know, someone needs to know these things happen. You know, it's like when you help the, ch it's like when someone records themselves helping the poor. Like people say, well, why'd you help the poor if you were going to record yourself? It's like, hey, hey. People need to know people are doing good things, so I, come on. I, I know it could seem like they they want attention, but still, you know, you just need someone to tell you not everyone in, in the world is an asshole. And this car looks like a minion, so it deserves to die. No, this other car, there it is, the fucking minion mobile. Fuck you, Trey Parker. <laughs> you sold out, you piece of shit. I thought I could believe in you, but no, you sold out. You became a voice on fucking an Illumination movie. Like, I could understand Pixar, but Illumination for Despicable Me 3. Trey Parker, why are you going to be a voice on Despicable Me 3? What's wrong with you? It's like showing up in a Tyler Perry movie or uh, some other selling out thing. You know? Shit, I guess when you made 20 seasons of South Park, you're just like, fuck, I don't give a shit anymore. I'll, I need, I need a, a paper this sandwich I just bought. <laughs> oh, Illumination, please hire me. So that, I, I think that's Trey Parker's reasoning. Like, I wasn't the one saying, Illumination, please hire me, but th Trey Parker would be in that situation. Like, please, <laughs> you know, Hamilton took all our uh, Book of Mormon money. I need, I, 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 I'm running out of South Park checks. Comedy Central isn't paying as much as they used to. I'm tired of these storylines, please. Illumination, just illuminate me if you catch my Tokyo Drift. Oh yeah. Fuck you, Ralph. Oh yeah. Go back to what nondescript country you came from. Yay. First prize, $2.50. I'm dead fucking serious. Come on, I don't need upgrades. I can do this. Oh, fuck, yeah. Now I do need upgrades so I can p afford them. Money don't buy happiness until I have money. Then I <laughs> then I need to use all this money as I, I can get. Oh, yeah. The fridge, four bucks. Do I... Mm -hmm. uh, my home, no. I cost too much money. Hmm. No. Wait, I, I don't think there's a, a an option to remove the things you, you put in your cart, so you gotta go, you gotta backtrack. How do I click the t cart? Alright, there it is. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm confused by this layout. Do I, can I edit this vehicle? Pair. Oh. I still can't afford my own fucking car. This is bullshit. I... Ah, uh, no, I'm I'm not spending any money until I can get the fucking refrigerator and everything else. Let's do this. Let's ruin this, what looks to be a park, a, a baseball field. Holy shit, did you see that ugly ass drawing of the blonde canker sister? What's sad is that I don't even know these canker sisters' names, like Lee, Marie, and... Fuck. Like, can anyone... Like, if I were to show you a picture of one of the Canker sisters, could you actually name who it is? Because I can't... Jesus Christ, that drawing looks horrible! Oh, God. Kevin looks so determined when he's smiling. Oh, man. One day I'll have my own blue... Oh, fuck, no! Oh, one day I'll have my own blue-haired girlfriend. One day. Oh, oh. Let's do this again. Uh, start Derby. I don't know. I, I guess, like, you know, if we ever do make a, a sequel to Ed, Ed, and Eddie, we can do, like, the teenage years or the college years where we can see, like, where the Eds ended up. You know, like, Marie, the, the blue-haired one. I think it's Marie, the blue-haired one. She became a suicide girl. Uh, the orange-haired one, the curly one. Uh, she, <laughs> she starred in a shitty remake of uh, Hocus Pocus. I always had this thought, are the witches from the sh the, the movie Hocus Pocus, like, did they inspire the design- Fuck! Did they inspire the designs for the Canker Sisters? Because I always thought they were kind of based off each other. Like, one of them came first. I know Hocus Pocus came first, and then the Canker Sisters. But, like, did- did- whatever the creator's name- 
Oh, I'm tired. Oh, fine. I'll upgrade my shitty car. Uh, uh, fuck. How do I? Oh yeah, the shop. Fine. I guess I'll pay for a cheap one. I want the fridge, but it costs money. Damn, so close to buying the, the legit one. Yeah, here's my fucking ride. <laughs> Move over, Mad Max Fury Road, directed by... Oh, a oh, new cart. <laughs> the... <laughs> Let's see, name your cart. The Ass Bang... Aw, oh, come on, I can't call it the Ass Banger. <laughs> ass Bang... T... The... Ass Bang... <sighs> <laughs> the Afghanistan bang. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Uh, pussy blaster. Pussy. Uh, can I shorten it? Pussy blist. Fine. Fuck, let's do this. This time we play Metal Gear for real. Yeah, so uh, like I said before, like how they, how they, what, where they grew up to be, you know, like Marie Kanker, Suicide Girl, like my, I have my Sundere friend, like my friend who's super edgy and always angry at me, like you know, she's basically like my Mandy to my Billy, or uh, I'm Dib and she's Gaz, you know what I mean? Where she's always mean and I don't know. I thought, hey, why don't you become like a suicide girl or something? Since you know you're you're edgy and stuff, and she says, uh, no, suicide girls are for like fucking, it's fucking nerd bait. Like only fucking loser guys are into suicide girls. Which, ever since she said that, I was like, wow, it really changed my perception. Like, damn, is it wrong to love a suicide girl like this? How could she just? destroy my fantasy like this i mean so on a separate occasion this other girl who's also who's into anime and stuff like we were talking about penny and stocking and she said penny was superior and stocking was just some shitty nerd bait and it's like are all my interests just shitty nerd bait like jeez, can no one respect my taste in women like just because i like girls that have colored hair and give the middle finger and selfies and I don't know what else they do, what other edgy things they do. You know, it's like, that's not nerd bait. Come on. They're respectable. They deserve our respect too. Yeah. Someday. Oh, God. But yeah. And as I said in the other uh, Let's Play, I bet Eddie, he'd vote for Trump. Double D. No. <laughs> Eddie would say, like, Hey guys, I just guess who I voted for? Donald Trump! He's gonna make the cul de sac great again! Oh gee, I don't know, Eddie. Uh, I voted for Bernie Sanders. I mean, I know, th I, I know voting for third party was a bad idea, but it's the thought that counts. Ed, who did you vote for? Harambe! Ed, did you just waste your vote on a fucking meme? <laughs> What are you talking about, guys? Harambe would make a perfect candidate. <laughs> Ed, you just wasted your vote on a fucking monkey. <laughs> a dead monkey. A monkey that's a meme. Harambe is dead? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm coming, Harambe. Ed, come back. You, you'll never find his grave. Oh, speaking of Harambe and dead memes, uh, uh, I don't know why, but someone told me about how Harambe is actually a local to my town. I mean, he wasn't shot in my zoo. <laughs> no, that would never happen in my zoo. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Harambe got, Harambe was born in, like, I think it was called Gladys Porter Zoo in my town, in the most southern point of Texas. So, it's like, wow, Harambe was one of us in the Rio Grande Valley. They killed Harambe. Fuck, I'm not even paying attention to this game. I'm just circling and Eddie can't fucking catch me. Oh, shit, help me. How do I... I'm trying to go behind him, but no, he's gonna butt ram me. <laughs> Please, no. No. I don't want to lose my virginity like this. I mean, I do. I would like to lose it in some crazy-ass bullshit way like this. But not with Eddie. Come on, Pan. Why don't you... Fuck me! 
<laughs> oh man, I'm, I remember uh, when Rebecca Sugar, the creator of Ed, um, R- Steven Universe, drew like Ed, Ed and A porn, and she <laughs> and her porn had Eddie say, "Quit being such a fan." G double D. I'm not gonna say the word, but you know what I mean. It's like, damn, Rebecca, s- slow your roll. Jeez. <laughs> Although I can imagine Eddie saying the other F word, like not fuck, but the other F word. Fuck, he's gonna kill me. Help me. Oh god. Keep circling. <laughs> He'll never catch me. Suck my dick, Eddie. No, please don't suck my dick. That's not an invitation just for you to suck my dick. That's just a metaphorical <laughs> response to you trying to butter at me. Please, please don't fuck me. Please get away. How do I help, help me? <laughs> it's the never ending circle. Oh, fuck. Piece of shit. I'll fuck you in the ass. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker! Oh yeah, let's go, let's go! Oh man! This guy's indestructible! Yeah! Fuck you, Eddie! Oh yes, five (laughs) dollars! Risk my ass and balls for five dollars, the championship derby! Oh man, ten whole fucks! And look at Naz, she's ready to suck my dick like she was in the other ones! Oh god, repairs! I, I can't make modifications to the ride I already have. This is bullshit. I gotta start from scratch when I start a new uh, thingy. I can't edit my car. I gotta buy a new car. This is bullshit design choice. Although this would make a pretty good game. Like, I can't think how, if there's any good car combat games out right now. Like, legitimate car games. Not like crummy little flash games like this. You know? Like, I want a legit car combat game. The last Twisted Metal game came out like 10,000 years ago. Which I have yet to play. I mean, I fucking love Twisted Metal. I mean, uh, I think Twisted Metal head-on was the best. Like, I I I went into the series pretty late, so uh, my first one was head-on on on the PSP. Well, on the the PS2 port. But I I went back to... It got me so engaged in Twisted Metal that I went back to play the PlayStation 1 games, and I realized, wow, the PlayStation 1 Twisted Metal games don't hold up at all. They are fucking clunky as hell, and also you can't use the analog sticks. So the controls are just super just fucking in and just unplayable. It's so stiff. It's like playing... I mean, this was the early era of 3D movement where nobody knew how to control 3D movement. Everybody was figuring things out, and it was fucking awful. Tomb Raider, going back to it, the first Tomb Raider sucks. Mega Man Legends is pretty shitty now. Mario 64 is still holds up mostly. I mean, the camera could use some work, but that holds up better than most 3D platformers. I mean, everybody back then, like a lot of 3D platformers were doing the tank control thing. <sighs> but anyway, I don't even remember this game at all. Oh man, and it's so monotonous just going in circles and praying I'm the successful one destroying these guys. Oh yeah. Kevin, what would Kevin be up to with in the college years or the uh, young adult years? I don't know. He'd probably wear like a Kevin would be wearing like a, a tap out t-shirt, wear Axe body spray, drinking four loco and uh, and uh Mountain no, not Mountain Dew. Um hmm. Red Bull fucking hanging out at Barbecue wing places, cheering on the cowboys, getting throwing a, a riot whenever fucking the cowboys lose every single time. I know nothing about sports, but I assume they lose all the time. Because my only memory of the cowboys was a long time ago, <laughs> my cousin, we'll, we'll just call her Emily, Emily, my s- little sister, was watching the cowboys, and I was just like walking in front of her. I was trying to get something from her closet because. I don't know, and she was like, I can't fucking watch the Cowboys if you're in the way, Pan. Get the fuck out of the way. And I don't know, I just uh, walked in, in front of her at the wrong time, and she couldn't tell who won the game. I said, okay, Pan, since you fucking walked in front of the TV screen, why don't you tell me who won the game, huh? Who won the fucking cow- the game? And I just said, uh, 
the Cowboys? It's like, no! It turns out the Cowboys didn't lo- win. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing about sports, but I just assume for, for the longest time in my life that the Cowboys are the shittiest team ever. Because <laughs> those are my only memories of this fucking sport. How fucking awful the Cowboys were. <laughs> So, <laughs> maybe it was a horrible season, like, but surely, they can't be all horrible. I mean, there has to be a reason why Hank Hill from King of the Hill would worship the Cowboys. Oh, let's bump the volume up. Oh, let's hear that annoying-ass fucking song. Oh, yeah. Good old repetitive 30-second loops. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah destroyed her own cousin or sister. Yes! Look at who's the best character on the show, Marie Kanker. All blue-haired girls are the best in every show. Play again. No, I I don't want to play as Eddie. Just give me fucking Marie. Okay, May, Marie, and Lee. Okay, that's what their names were. Yeah. No, what? There's no new Game Plus? This is... No, this is bullshit. Do I get my money? No! No! Fuck! There's no new game plus. Like they just, they just had my money and they just threw it out. They just fucking threw it out. I don't want to get my money anymore. I just start all over from scratch. This is fucking bullshit. All my hard work down the drain. They just fucking reset the system. It's over. Fuck this. Well, I guess this is the end of this let's play for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're a conformist. If not, go fuck yourself. I'm Pan Pizza. Who are you people? Oh wait, there's no one else here. It's just me. Yeah, goodbye.